Hey everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to my live. Hello everybody, gotta get my comments up so I can see what's going on. There are so many different things when I go live that I have to turn on a multiple, I have, I have six devices going. It's kind of crazy and it's a little bit difficult at times to run on your own, but I do it, I promise. Um, and I try to do my best, but there are a lot of things that have to happen like simultaneously. And so I can't just do it um, like all at once. I can't do it before. You have to hit that magic button and then you actually can do it. So go ahead and say hello um, while I am getting everything going so that I can see you. We have an adorable project today. We are using one of our super brand new items that just, you guys, this just dropped today. This is our adorable beaded round. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna show you all about it because it's, it's more than meets the eye, you guys. So lots going on. Let me head over and get all of my um, comments popped up. Where am I looking? Hello, hello. I cannot see. Hold on one second. Hey everybody over on Instagram. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my live. Hello YouTube. We are moving. Yes we are, we are live. And I got my water. Today is going to be a really um, easy, easy project. Um, actually, uh, I have a dentist appointment today. Not that that really matters, but I have to make sure I'm done on time. Hi, Anita. Hi, Melinda. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, Tammy. Hello, everybody. Tina and Deb and Jean and Lillian all over on Instagram. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some info in the comments because today's project is really cool and it's new stuff. And so I know you're gonna want to get your hands on it. So let me, um, let me make sure this is all in here the right way. So there we go. Okay, so we have, I'm gonna get this into YouTube as well. Hello, my YouTube friends. Let's refresh that. I'm going to go ahead and pin a comment right in Facebook and in YouTube. And then all of you guys watching on, um, where are we? Why am I? I'm live, right? I am so, yes, I am. Hi, Linda. Hello. Hi, Ursula. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I am trying to get my YouTube live to pop up. I don't know why it's not. It's pretty weird. Oh, here we go. Okay. I got it. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in the comments because I want you guys to have access to this. It takes a whole lot of weird... Weirdness, like YouTube is weird and it won't let me, there we go. All right, I think we're ready to go. Let's do this. Okay, so Cotton Tails is the name of this gorgeous transfer and it is a, um, a large stencil. We're gonna use this this whole thing, you guys, ah, bigger than my surface. Don't worry, I have a plan. 
Um, super, super cute. The video is pausing. That's weird. Okay, so let me show you a little bit about this really quickly. Oh no. Hmm. Hopefully that will work. Let me know if it's any better. I'm trying to move. I'm trying to move this out of your view. Hopefully that will work. It's out of the view. Okay, awesome. So let me get to the point. Hi, Terry. Okay, good. We are working, 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 working. No more pausing. This is a really cool surface. So what you're seeing right here, this black portion, is the actual surface. It's white on one side, black on the other, 16 inches, and it has the beaded frame. Can you guys see? How cool that looks. A really awesome beaded frame. This is wood, so it can be painted or stained. This is our boutique surface. Our boutique surface means that it is washable and reusable. So that's what we're doing today. I am gonna set the frame aside because we have a large chalking area to get to work with today. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn my camera down for you so you can see what I'm gonna do. I am gonna be chalking on the white side today, just in case. Why is this so crooked? I don't know. I just wanna give you a little more viewing area. Okay, and what I'm gonna do, I'm focusing on these cute bunnies. There's a big rabbit and then like three little baby bunnies down here. Awesome, Sherry, woohoo! So you guys, if at any time during this live, you want to get the project supply list, you wanna get the surface, you wanna get the, the stencil, whatever, go ahead and comment cottontail. So I put those words up. Um, if you are on YouTube, you guys, I already have it linked in your description, so you don't need to comment. Um, but everybody else, Instagram, this is the only way for me to give you links because Instagram is so, um, like, you know, picky about things. So I am just trying to lay this out so that there are no, um, actually, uh, I think I want to move it over. Wouldn't you? Yeah, let's move it over slightly. Which means I'm going to move it this way. I want to get the most bunnies. Like I want all the bunnies that I can get on here. And I kind of want it centered with those bunnies. All right, this is looking good now. We are fairly centered. Don't ever, you guys, if you get your transfer stuck, like what I just did, be very careful. Okay, so I've got my bunnies on here for the most part. And what I'm gonna do is grab some of my Storm chalk paste. Now this is a gray color. Um, just remember the word is cottontail. No need to fuzz it because this is a boutique surface. So it lifts, it is, any of our boutique surfaces, you really don't need to fuzz. It lifts off so easily from our boutique. These 
You guys, our boutique surface is, um, it's unique to us. It actually um, is our own um, um, invention. I want to say so many things right now, but um, the words are not coming to me because ah, that's the way I am. All right, so I've got my angled squeegee here. All of the tools that I'm using are in the link. Now, the link is in the description. The link is in the comments. If you are watching on YouTube and on Facebook, if you are on Instagram, you can only get the links by commenting the keyword, which is cottontail. I have it for you at the bottom of the screen. Um, C-O-T-T-O-N-T-A-L-E, cotton tail. Uh, now, because that's the way Instagram works, just so you know. All right, look how quick and easy that was. Seriously, amazing. And you're probably wondering, Sarah, why? Why did you leave it on the backer? Well, it's actually a good question and I will be answering. And it is because when I'm only using a portion of, I'm this is wet, so I'm gonna set it aside here. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up really quickly. When you're only using a portion of the transfer, cleaning it off is way easier especially because this is a giant, huge transfer. Um, cleaning it is just easier leaving it on here. So you have to do a few different wipes to the front and then you have to lift it up and do a couple wipes on the back. But for the most part, it's really, really easy. I'm just going to kind of dry that. I am afraid I'm going to set this over here. I don't want to do anything bad to it. You guys know I love the neutrals. Well, here, here I'm going to clean this off really quickly. And then we're going, I'm going to show you a really cool tool that we have. It just launched today. I did a sneak peek of it about a week and a half ago. And I think... You're going to love. All right, I'm gonna dry this. Scooch this over. I'm gonna wipe this with our wipey to get it cleaned. There we go. Okay, so it may look a little cumbersome at first, but I'm telling you this is the quickest, easiest way to get this stuff clean. And then watch the, oh, I do this, I do this all the time. Watch how easy it is to dry that and then I can roll it right up. So you're gonna take that microfiber side of your um, fuzzing cloth and place it on the sticky. There's no lint on the microfiber side. So when you're using that microfiber side, you can easily dry the sticky part and nothing will come of it. Okay, it'll just dry it off with no lint. And then here we go. We just kind of roll it back on here. There's a little bit of moisture, which I will wipe down. And I'll get these wrinkles out and we'll be good to go. And I can place this back onto or into the little um, thing that it came on. If you have questions, this is a great time to ask questions. If you love my videos and you would like to get more you want more ideas, inspiration, and insider information, 
Y'all can comment VIP and I'll send you a link where you can join my DIY and crafting group. Um, it's free and so that's awesome. All right, I'm gonna make sure that this is dry. I'm gonna grab my quick dry tool. Hey, Millie, hi, Jan, over on Instagram. Hello, hello. My friends here on Facebook. If I can see you. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Karen. Hi, Tammy. Good afternoon. Thank you, Melinda. So I've got this adorable, like, little bunny bunnies. They're just adorable. Um, so this is from Cottontails. And I used our um, Storm Chalk Paste, which is our like dark gray. And they're so cute. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop it back into the frame. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so cute. I am going to flip it over so I can show you these little clips just like rotate around to secure the back of the frame. And then, oh, so cute. All right, y'all, I'm not done yet. You know that one, happy Valentine's Day, Connie. Hey, Mary Ann. Hello. How are you? Okay. I want to share with you. We're going to do a, we're going to do a bow and I'm going to, I'm actually going to put these close together. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do a double bow. So I'm going to take two different grays. They're kind of neutral and I'm going to make, let's see. We're going to do, all right, I am going to pinch this together and where you pinch it together, you're going to drop it into this contraption. This is our um, bow maker. Let me kind of move this over here. So our bow maker, and we're gonna do two loops. Oops, I put it in upside down, hold on. We're gonna do <laughs> two loops for each kind. So my loops are as long as the bow maker is. And so I just wanna use that to measure and in this particular case, the ribbon that I'm using is, there's no right or wrong side. It is the same on both sides, okay? So hopefully you're getting the gist on that. All right, awesome. Actually, I think I'm gonna do three. No, there's two loops there and the rest of this is going to be a tail. So let me trim that. Now I'm done with that color. So I put it in. I left kind of a long tail because I'm not sure how I want it to look. So I've got a tail over here. I've got a tail over here and I have two loops here and I have two loops here. Like when you pull the tails, you can see now my loops, right? You, you're, you're familiar with what I'm doing. Next color. Still gray, still white. We added in a little bit of this natural color. Have you had trouble getting the five by seven? No, I have not had trouble. I would have to look at your back or I'd have to look at it to see. Now, this one has a right side and a wrong side or a different side, whatever you wanna call it. That is gonna be important for when we do, when we make our tails, okay? So I'm gonna place it in here, similar 
I'm gonna make these a little bit shorter. So it's gonna be a shorter tail here. I have to flip, twist, I have to twist my ribbon. And I'm gonna make it shorter than the original plaid one. So it's gonna be shorter. In the center, I am twisting every time. So now I'm gonna twist. That means I have like 10 minutes to finish this. Okay. This bow maker is in the list of supplies. It's available today for purchase. I'm twisting again. I'm gonna go back through, twisting again. Go back through, and I'm not twisting the last one because that's gonna be our tail. Which is shorter than the original. So all of my bow, both colors of my bow are in there and the right side is showing on both of them. Oof, my pin. Oh, I think I barely had enough left of that. All right, hold please. I forgot to close up my chalk. Y'all know this is like, okay. So then I'm gonna take, you know what? I'm gonna use twine. I really like, um, I love using a zip tie, but then sometimes I have to wrangle it to um, hide it. So I'm gonna use some twine and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna underneath here, under here, I'm gonna go ahead and find those centers again. And I'm gonna tie this off. I'm gonna pull it out, set that aside for now. Pull this out and I'm gonna tie it pretty tight into like a double, a double knot. I'm gonna pull so that my tails come down, okay? And then, you know how I do this. I'm going to create tails with these. I'm going, well, let me trim, make sure they're both like the same size. We don't need two different sizes here. I'm going to twist in order to open those fibers up and unravel part of this. Unravel. You guys, if you think this is going to turn out to be super cute, go ahead and hit that heart button. Heart button, heart button, and make sure you're following me for all of my DIY, home decor, and so much more. Go ahead and make sure you're following, subscribing on YouTube. All right, so now my bow, which you guys, so easy to make when you're using that bow maker. I've got a really adorable bow that we're gonna add. You guys can see this, it's the double bow. We're gonna add that right onto our, the top of our frame. When you use wired ribbon, you guys, it makes it so awesome. Hey, if you have not joined my club yet, I would invite you to type club in the comments so that you can get in on that. You wanna make sure you're getting in there before the end of February because, <gasps> trust me, just trust me, you wanna get in before the end of February. Club in the comments if you're interested in that. Okay, you guys. Um, thank you, Carol. So easy to do. Now, we can just do one of two things. We can attach this so that we can remove it because this is removable. And in order to do that, we're just going to go right through here. I'm gonna show you. I'm just gonna take another piece of this. And I'm gonna pop this through the actual board, okay? So you're gonna pop, you know, you could use a piece of thin jute, you could use a piece of twi skinny twine, you could also use um, a zip tie and cut it off. You can also, you guys, certainly hot glue it. 
Um, it is a wood frame, so you maybe will have a little less success at removing that hot glue. You can always like put it in the freezer, but there's always a chance that it will take some of that um, off. You could use some, um, what do you call it? You could use some uh, removable adhesive, um, Velcro, those little things. I'm just gonna go ahead and incorporate my um, jute into this project right here so that you can see that now I have the cute bow, the bunnies, and it's all reusable, you guys. 100% reusable, washable. I don't know if everybody knows this, but um, I'm a little... I'm a little off center. Let me see if I can adjust. Is that better? Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, there we go. So I'm just popping the back in again. I was a little off center with my bow. All right, so. Um, super quick, so easy. I love, you guys know I love the neutrals. And so for me in particular, this is my jam. Grays, whites, blacks, browns, any of that kind of stuff is kind of my jam. You could add greenery here. You could do a lot, but this is very simple. Um, it's, it's, totally the look I was going for. This is adorable. This is the cotton tails. Um, go ahead. When Easter is done, you guys, or when, when spring is gone, I'm going to take this apart. I'm going to wash it. It'll come back to white. I can remove this bow and save it for another project. And then I can create something else. Remember it's black on the back, white on the front. So you can flip that around and use the black side for something as well. If you love this, go ahead and comment Cottontail. I'll send you a link with the um, um, supplies. And without any further ado, that's my project for today. Hope you loved it. Hope you um, and discovered something new that you had no idea. I will be placing this into um, one of our easels uh, for display. Okay, you could hang it on the back. I'm just going to go ahead and put it in an easel. All right, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Hump Day. And don't forget the brand new um, bow maker and the brand new beaded tray. I call it a tray, it's not a tray. The beaded round is available right now for purchase, brand new just today. All right, you guys, have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.